Well, this is probably an ultra bullet specialist. I say, whoa, I say ultra bullet specialist all the time because if you've ever watched ultra bullet specialist, you'll understand what I mean. The speed at which they can move is unreal. I might actually see if there's an ultra bullet game on at some point. Let's go here. I've just, I should have stopped talking then because I lost my concentration. And let's grab here. Let's attack the pawn. It's obviously going to drop. Not dropping. Oh, it's got my bishop. It's got my bishop if I do that. Let's go here. It's going for it anyway. Okay, let's take. Pushes the pawn down. Let's come back here. This is one of those annoying positions where you think, oh, I might be winning, but you're not. Pawn or take with the bishop. Yeah, it's like one of those creeping death games, so I need to really wake up. Or else I'm just going to get stunned. Let's go here. Because they're moving so slow, but you think you're winning because they're moving slow when you, you're not. Let's go here. Does capture. And how many pawns? Uh, you know what? I'm going to take with this pawn. And just push. It's got a pawn majority on this side, so we could suffer some damage here. And. I'm going to push here. Probably need to get my king across the other side of the board now. Like I said, I told you this is one of those creeping death games where you think you're winning, but you're not actually. He's got poor majority. In fact, is he plus one? He is plus one. He will be plus one. Ah, scandalous times. Yeah, said dinner. One of those games, he was just working his way nice and slow, moving like a snail. Do, 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 do. Like a little creeping, slivering snail. That's what he was doing, just a little snivering snail. <laughs> slivering snail, that's what he was. Can't even get in there. And his slivering snail tactics work because he's just going to come here and he's going to take this pawn. <gasps> oh, I tell you. Don't trust the slivering snail. Gee. And if I push there, we can just push down. Oh, it's all over. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's resign that one. Okay, so let's avoid the slivering snail little tricks. Yep, okay. I felt a shift as soon as I started saying, yeah, sometimes you feel like you're winning. There was something not quite right. So if we know something's not right, we have to do something about it. Let's just be proper proactive here let's uh, castle it's got like a two on one on this pawn so the rook's taking the rook isn't taking at the moment so smaller piece attacking the queen maybe might help a bit let's grab this let's attack the queen again a little bit of harassment going on and let's attack the bishop more harassment queen takes 
and problem we've got is if we go for the exchange obviously he gets this pawn let's hit the rook yep okay there we go yeah if the rook came up then we're all going to go on the back but he's not doing that so what we need to do is be a little bit stealthy because he's going to go for a back ranker boom boom queens down uh, so he's going to put pressure on the rook let's go here and this pawn here alright so everybody's got a bit of cleverness today hmm let's attack the rook it's probably going to hide here well I would say there ain't a right lot to do there, is there? Mm -mm. Probably come here now so that he can escape going up the back. He's not doing that just yet. So if we pushed up, he goes there and comes around the back. Uh, let's go back again. Sure about that, let's go here. Mm -mm -mm. Could push past just to be a bit annoying. Yeah, let's push past. He wants his rook to escape and get into some action. And again, he wants to wants to get his rook past, so I think I want to try and be annoying and just push past so he's trapped in that little cubby hole but he's going to come here to escape now he's had enough yeah <laughs> he's had enough he was getting strangulated and okay let's push here probably a little bit of a check on the king just to say look i am in the game i'll bring the king here my time is running down let's go here more checks king if we come come here and I'm actually going to take take push onto the rook see if we can get one of these pawns up let's keep pushing this one king's coming around for our rook is it trapped that's the question Forty odd seconds. Oh, what is that all about? Let's go here. His king comes down for us. Then we can't push this pawn up. Damn. So we can't push that pawn up now. We can come across here, but then his rook's gonna take. So we're gonna have to do something with our king out there. Let's push this pawn. I don't know if that was right actually. Rook comes down, puts a check on. Yes. Comes back up. Twenty-four seconds. Hmm. Interesting situation. I think I'm going to go get his pawn on the other side. Ten seconds I've got, but this is not. This is not zero increment. <coughs> this is one second increment. one on time although I really could have just gone back here but we do have this poor majority eventually we might have won something so I think that was a good choice of actually giving that pawn up to come across the route around the back but let's have a look at the analysis just to see because we 
we were still suffering from Mr. Snail Trail in the previous game. <laughs> Let's just have a quick look at this one. Du -du 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 -du. Right, let's do it from about here. Rooks down, da, da, da. so it's not much really. Minus, minus. We get a plus because we keep messing about with the king. They get a plus, sorry. And then they bring their rook back. So then we go here. <sighs> Doesn't like it. I knew it wouldn't. I did. I knew it wouldn't because it's like we're giving up this thing, but I couldn't really see. I mean, if we weren't challenging this stuff. No, I'm not working with that. In fact, well, let's it's what's it saying here? B4. No, I didn't even think like that, did I? B4. Push. He doesn't have to take if he pushes there. It looks like I'm trapping myself. Oh, I've got this situation going on. Oh, oh, that's really interesting. Because ah, I do get in this type of position ish type thing. And I do end up sort of messing about with the king and messing about with the pawns on the other side. Oh, simple. That's why my rook's there. It's already supported. Hit the pawn. Dun, dun, dun. Right, that one is in. That's in. Yeah, I don't need to do any more now. Yeah, that one is in. That's yeah, that's fine. Cheers. Good game. Okay, let's just keep plodding away. So we've had Mr. Snail Trail, we've had a fairly interesting learning game. In the last one, so let's see if we can put it all to whoa, let's see if we can put it all together. Mm, 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 mm. Could have taken that palm. Flippity jabers. That's moving too fast. Could have taken the pawn. Keep pressuring this pawn. <laughs> Got to get rid of being mortar set as well. You know, we go through, well, I go through certain moves and I just go, well, yes, I'm going to go here. But then actually the picture t changes if the opponent doesn't actually do the move that you expected them to do. So you shouldn't continue with the move. So you miss a load of gold when you do that. Oh, stupid. All I saw was that. I didn't see that he can just take here. Damn. I saw that to attack there and then come back around here again if he came around there. What was I just saying? Being mortar set. Sure, that was a waste. That spoiled that game now. Oh, man. Well, at least I know why I did it. You know, that was a mistake. It was a mistake. Let's see if he wants to trade then. Should do now, he's got more material. Or oh, is he just going to take this pawn? Okay, so they're down on time, so maybe they're going to overthink now because they've got more pieces on the board. That can happen. Don't have any place in the centre of the board. At all. Gonna get it trapped.
well that's a bit strange okay so we won on time on that one okay well we we weren't winning but we were winning on time so it's part of the game have a look at the a quick analysis on there yeah blacks were out and out winning there it's only because they've got a minor piece extra that's really why and probably a few more pawns one two four five six one two three four five six seven. Oh no that's clearly we've got more pawns so in essence yeah they were cleaning us out i mean they, what they could do they could move the bishop could uh, maybe not there they could leave it there but then the pawn would attack so maybe not that position could go here and then we can't challenge it because we don't have anything supporting this pawn and that would be quite strong for them I suppose so what was the idea <clears throat> for me if they'd continued on my brain just went oh I'm going to go up and across yep either to here or to here and just try and start putting pressure on their king that probably wouldn't have worked but if I'd have gone here I don't know what they would have done but they look like they're wanting to keep protecting this pawn maybe this rook would have come here to defend against coming across here so then we go here and then the king would move out of the way would they go down though because there's all these pawns blocking the way probably not if they went down probably come into here but if they went here they'd be looking to be safe here but then we're going to try and put pressure on so if they moved we would probably look to do that <clears throat> and just try and continue on from there we're losing but they lost on time so there's nothing else i can do i can't guess for the opponent and i'm definitely not playing against the computer okay i feel like i'm in for another one and let's see how we get on with the last one then steady on didn't expect that didn't expect that so we need to maybe start causing some damage because our knights are coming off the board I can feel it in my water one little piggy went to market oh he's not taken let's bring this across let's attack do, 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 do. Was that a rook move? It was a rook move, wasn't it? I'm behind on time. It's just um, condensed me in. It's not my queen's going to be under pressure on this file. I can feel it. Yeah, it's moving now, so the rooks are going to start power driving down here. Oh, I'm a knight. <laughs> damn it. Oh, damn, damn, damn a blast. Oh, no, that's a damn shame. Oh, I wish the king was behind there. Oh, let's go for this queen. Oh, shabby, shabby, shabby. Giving up my gold, giving up my gold. Oh, it's gone quiet, it's attacking the bish. Would I get away with it? Would I get away with it, do you think? Oh, we got away with it. Cheapy, it's so cheap. 
Okay, that's the last game. All right. <laughs> Again, you'd say, you'd say you don't deserve to win that, but at the end of the day, that's the game of chess, isn't it? How many blunders have I made in these um, bullet matches and somehow we still seem to gain some advantage? I've, I've lost pieces left, right and centre, um, put pieces on squares I shouldn't have been putting them on. Um, the only thing I would say is, for me, don't play on my phone and just keep playing on the laptop with the nice speed setting that we've got for the mouse and then we're good to go. Like I say, there's no guarantees of getting victories, but it's more improved performance in the games. Okay, so let's keep on plodding away.